Hey guys, this is Alessandro. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to tell you why motivation it doesn't really work for you when you want to achieve your goal, but instead you should focus more on discipline. All right? Because in my opinion, I don't really rely too much on motivation because I can only I feel it can only give you until a certain point, and then it starts to go downhill if you don't have the discipline, right? Uh, and I want to share this with you, and I want to share a bunch of examples of why I strongly believe about this. All right? First of all, let me frame things in this way. Tell me if this sounds familiar to you. You watch animation online like a great animation that you see by another student or by another animator or you watch one of my videos or other people were telling you you know if you really want to focus you want to achieve this you need to be more focus driven you have to study longer blah 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 then if you really encourage really motivated about this you're gonna say yes i'm gonna achieve this quality i'm gonna do this i'm gonna really be focused and committed like alessandro is saying is that and after you close the video, you go back to watch your TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Or maybe you do a little bit, okay, because you're really motivated for a while. But then as soon as you started to find the first uh, problem, things start to go downhill. Because motivation only going to bring you so far. And actually what you're lacking and what you should have is the discipline to continue, right? So I hope this is going to sound familiar because it was familiar to me. And, and now I want to give you a bunch of scenarios where... Uh, I found motivation doesn't really work, all right? Um, so I can tell you, for example, when uh, with my student or people who work under me, right? And sometimes I have to give them a, like a shot to do like a, or something. And yes, at the beginning, you can try to motivate them. You can try to make them excited. And maybe at the beginning, they are excited. Uh, but you can see that as soon problem kicks in, right? Maybe they realize the their animation skill is not that good and they cannot achieve a specific thing. So maybe they had a specific vision and counter problem and they do not know um, how to solve it and they're not able to achieve whatever they want. Or maybe just because you give them the feedback over and over and they need to keep redoing over and over, they start to get frustrated. Well, I can tell you guys in that case, motivation doesn't really work because motivation, you tend to do things that you're you tend to do things that you only like or excited about it and in the moment that that excitement fades away your uh, your uh, your working habits start to go really down okay you're, you're not again you're not motivated anymore that's why you lose your focus you're not able to achieve a certain things right and if you remember that's when i said when uh, you know, last week i talked about uh, polio's shot and i said the attitude of a champion because it was um, very focused and determined. It wasn't just about the motivation. Doesn't matter how long and how many times I give him feedback, feedback. He was really focused and he knew he had to do it. He had a goal. He was very persistent on that goal and, and he did it, right? Um, and that was the key to the success. Not because he was motivated, because I am pretty sure at some point the motivation was fed away when I was asking him to repeat things over and over. Uh, and I remember it happened to me when I was working or when I was working in, in a studio. Uh, three weeks on a shot, I polished it and finishing it. My director was like, oh, well, no, Alessandro, this is, does, doesn't really look good. Try another version. Try a completely different idea. I have to start all over. It was so frustrating for me. That is like, uh, why, why didn't you tell me before, right? Why you're not telling me at the last minute after I polished all my shot? And I think, you think that was motivating for me? Of course, it was not, uh, uh, not motivating at all. Uh, but I did it anyway. All right. I can give you another another example. When I was studying 2D animation, I studied for three years to do the animation, like making sacrifice, not going to have fun with my friends and stuff like that, because I was motivated to to um, to be a 2D animator. Uh, too bad when I finished the school and they didn't give us the internship that they promised us of, of a full year, my world kind of collapsed, right? Because that was my chance to enter into the industry. Uh, there was not many other animation studio in Italy and blah blah blah, and. Uh, and so I was very demotivated in that case. The world collapsed on me. Uh, but at some point, I have to you know, stand up, <laughs> take the, uh, the little pieces of myself, recompose myself. And I went to study 3D, something that at that time I used to hate 3D because I love drawings and stuff like that. Do you think that was motivating for me, that my, my dream was completely crashed? And I had to study something that I have no passion about it at all. Uh, because I was not passionate about it at all in 3D uh, but I had to do it how did I do that? because I was motivated? not at all I can tell you guys I was waking up in the morning I have no intention to open my or 3 this Max uh, uh, like that but I had to do it because I had the discipline I knew I failed in, the, in, that, in that dream I still wanted to work in something artistic I like games I said okay maybe it's not exactly my dream job uh, but I wanted to do it. I wanted to have a job that pays me well because I knew I didn't want it to get paid like well, 1,000, 2,000 euro a month and then and then really struggle, right? 
but again I was not motivated at all in that and I did it because I had a goal and I wanted to follow that goal all right and if you follow my channel you know when I went to study animation or well, animation 3 this Max or Maya it was like 13 years ago 14 years ago now and, uh, and there was no YouTube where you can watch free tutorial there was no website or stuff like that where you can learn Maya 3 this Max that was the software I bought a terrible book that it was in English my English wasn't even that good um, that uh, and some things didn't even work and that's all right sometimes I was trying to follow the tutorial on the book it didn't work the books tell you press this button it's gonna happen this it didn't happen I didn't know what to do because you know my life you don't know what to do is very intimidating there are thousands of buttons and so I, I was failing and I was failing I didn't know what to do because again I couldn't search online for a YouTube tutorial or I didn't have a mentor or anything or a school who could teach me right so imagine how frustrating that be I woke up in the morning I knew I wanted to learn Maya, I didn't know how to do it, okay? And after six months, I remember of learning Maya, I shifted to 3 Max because Max had uh, like some online tutorial, well, not online, they had in the, and actually in the program itself, there's some guide or stuff like that. So after six months, I learned Man Maya, I started all over again with 3 Max, right? I imagine how frustrating that was. And I did by not doing animation for the first year and a half, for two years, I did modeling, rigging, lighting, camera, things I couldn't care less. Do you think that was motivating for me? Not at all. But my goal was there and I wanted to achieve it, right? Uh, even in animation as well, even when you do animation, yes, it's all fun and good when you're doing at home, you're doing whatever you want. But then again, even when you're doing at home, you, you can inspire sometimes you see this amazing sequence and you want to do something similar. And then you start doing it and you realize this doesn't look at all as I was envisioning in my head. This looks terrible. Do you think that's motivating? It's not. Okay, so you, you can kind of get depressed in that way, but when you have discipline, when you have goal and you have the discipline to follow that goal and you can wake up any morning, every morning and continue to study and work eight hours, no matter what, regardless if you feel motivated or not, if you feel like doing it or not, eventually you're going to get there. You're, and even if you don't get that, you're still going to learn a lot. So that's why I said the danger of motivation, because motivation, you tend to do things that you only like and you really love. But it doesn't matter how passionate you are, you are about this job, there's going to be plenty of time when you don't feel like animating. I can tell you guys, I work in, in, in studios where the, I, we were working on a project that I fully hated it. I was working, I remember, in this game company, we were doing a, like a, 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 an application for military. So people running with machine guns, stuff like that. Can you imagine like, how much I could hate something like that? So uh, I didn't enjoy it at all. I was waking up in the morning, I didn't enjoy it, but still, I give the best as I could and I still did good animation that my leads, my supervisor was still happy about it. Why? Because I was disciplined and focused about this one. Okay? That's the key thing you need to need to worry about. If you're just here hoping that someone else is always gonna motivate you, if you're always here hoping that um, you're gonna watch here a speech or something, this will motivate you, you're wrong. Because eventually that motivation will fade away. Uh, you should, I don't want to say self-motivated, but you need to have the self-drive, self-discipline. That's what you really need, right? And if you follow my channel, I can give you another example now that, you know, I'm very savage when it comes to financial and saving and stuff like that, right? And again, do you think that that's, I was motivated doing that? Absolutely not, because when I, when I, when I started to do savings, I didn't make a lot of money at the beginning. So what did I do? I, I shared an apartment for with uh, three, four people, right? I was not going out or outside very often. I could not go and eat outside in a restaurant anytime I want. I had to cook the meal by myself, right? I couldn't spend as much time getting drunk and having fun with all my friends like they were doing it because I wanted to save money. Do you think that I was motivated because I was really enjoying doing that kind of life? No. Um, what I did, I set a goal for myself. I said, this is the goal what I achieved for this year. And no matter, no matter what, uh, I need to save every month $3,000, $4,000. That's what I want to save, right? And, uh, and I, I said, okay, if I want to save this amount of money, I, that means I can only spend $2,000 each month, right? I said, with this, this $2,000, it means $1,200 for the rent, rent of a room, not even a, a proper uh, apartment. And then I remain with $800 for food, bill, electricity bill, stuff like that, going out once in a while and stuff like that. I can tell you that it was not a good place to be. But so I was not motivated to do that. I was disciplined to, go, to do that because I know eventually I was getting closer and closer to my goal that eventually get bigger and bigger. 
and uh, and uh, 10 years later i can see the advantage of what i did right and then sometimes i, I know I, I meet people that they they they, they do an even great job like they're a lawyer doctor or whatever surgeon this is like i said how, how come you say with your job that they think my job is it's not as uh, great as their job uh, and I feel like how come Alessandro you save like 10 times more than what I have in my savings and I'm a surgeon I'm a, I'm a famous lawyer blah 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 well not really famous but I'm a lawyer so still supposed to make really good money because they did not have the discipline okay and uh, and now they see like okay now Alessandro you can have a good life blah 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 but they don't see all the things that happened before right uh, and that's what I, what I wanted to share with you guys uh, again I'm not trying to put you down or anything that's not the point but I'm just telling you how motivation can actually be very, very dangerous if you only rely on that because you're going to be very excited on something at the beginning and then when you're not happy anymore at the first problem you encounter, your production level is going to go terrible down or you might even give up on what you wanted to do, right? Because motivation only is going to put you so far and you constantly need to be motivated. You need to look video on YouTube, but you need to get inspired by other people. Like get inspired by yourself. Have goals that you want to achieve no matter what and have the discipline. That's what really is going to make the difference. Okay, guys? I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Ciao.